Hey guys, Alex here. Welcome back to my channel, a channel about real estate, personal finance, and business. Today, I will be sharing with you the different developments in Uptown Cagayan de Oro. The purpose of this vlog is so that as an investor, you will be able to understand this specific area of Cagayan de Oro better and why so many developers are building in this area. What is Uptown Cagayan de Oro? This is actually an informal address. It's called Uptown CDO because the area is elevated roughly 130 meters above sea level depending on your specific location. This area is mountainous so it has different levels of elevation. So the Uptown has different addresses. So the area around SM City Mall is called Upper Carmen. The area around Savior Estates is Upper Balulang. And the area around Gran Europa is Upper Lumbia. But as a whole, it's called Uptown Cagayan de Oro. This area currently has one commercial center and that is Pueblo de Oro Business Park. So this is a master plan 23 hectare commercial business district designed for large corporations as well as small and medium enterprises. Pueblo Business Park currently has one mall, that's SM City Mall, and there are other buildings. And they are expanding, so they are building another building for SM City Mall as we speak just across their current location. So that you can really have a visual of what I'm talking about, let me quickly share my phone screen with you. So as you can see on my screen, this is SM City Mall over here and the parking lot on the side at the side of SM just across SM City Mall is now being currently converted into another building so an extension of SM City Mall and then just near SM City Mall this with the red roof so that's concentrics and then we also have three condominiums that have already been turned over in this area. So in front of Concentrics, we have Primavera Residences, which is composed of two towers at 10 stories each. And then we have Grinvia Residences and Grinvia Suites. Both are four-story walk-up condos. So this is Primavera Residences. And then Grinvia is just in front of Primavera. And then at the back of Grinvia Residences is Grinvia Suites. So Primavera is developed by Italpinas, which is an Italian Filipino development corporation. The architect is Architect Naughty, and he was the one who designed this building. And Grinvia Residences and Grinvia Suites are projects by John Dorf Ventures Corp. So these three are the first condominiums in the uptown area. So they are already, they have already been turned over to the unit owners and the condo corp. So all the buildings in the uptown area, by the way, are mid-rise because there is a height restriction due to the airport that got turned into a military airbase nearby. And then just within walking distance from SM City Mall, we also have pre-selling condos in Business Park. So we have Primavera City. This is a six-tower, 12-story development by Italpina. So this is their second project after Primavera Residences. So Primavera City is located over here. So just in front of the Hall of Justice. So currently, two towers are almost finished. They're scheduled for turned over in August of 2021. And then just up ahead, you can't see the building yet, but it's supposed to be in this location. That's where they're building the residential loft. It's just a few meters away from Primavera City. And this is an eight-story building with commercial units for sale on the ground floor. Then just in front of the residential loft, this area over here. So this is a huge area where SMDC will be developing a condo complex that will be similar to Happy Trees Residences in Quezon City. They will be putting up four-story buildings with the amenities located outside. So the condos will be clustered around the amenities so that there will be units with view with a view of the amenities area. So aside from the condos clustered within Pueblo de Oro Business Park, there is also another condominium project near Savior Estates Main Gate. Actually, two condominium projects near XE Main Gate. So the first is Smart Condo, which is developed by a Korean-Filipino developer and then we have uptown condotel which is just beside the savior estates main gate so both of them have already been turned over as well so smart condominium is over here as you can see it's just near sm city mall 
SM is over here. So Smart Condo is where the red pin is located. And then SM is just over here. So it's about around three minute drive from SM City Mall and Pablo Business Park. And then right in front of Smart Condo is the Savior Estates main gate. And then beside this, the main gate, which is this building where I dropped the pin. So that's Uptown Condotel. Aside from condos, you will also find five food parks within the business park and several commercial buildings. It's also quite windy in this area. That's why open air food parks are a hit because even if you go in the morning or early in the afternoon where it's still hot, it's very airy. Now let's go to the subdivisions located in the area. So there are a lot of mid to high end subdivisions clustered around Pablo Business Park. So let's start with Morning Mist Village. So Morning Mist is one of the closest subdivisions to Pablo de Oro Business Park. As you can see, SM is just over here. Morning Mist is where the pin is at. And then across Morning Mist, in this area, we have another subdivision that's Phil Am Life Village. And then at the back of SM, we have Golden Glow Village. And then beside Phil Am Life, this is it, where the pin is. This is Hillsboro Point. So these are the closest subdivisions to Pablo Business Park, all within walking distance. And they are developed by Pablo de Oro Development Corp. Then within one to two minute drive are the following subdivision. So we have Camellia Homes, which is just across SM City Mall. We have the courtyard. So the courtyard is over here. So it's near the SMDC development. And then across the courtyards, we have Golden Glow North 1. At the back of North 1, we have Golden Glow North 2. So North 1 is a much bigger development than North 2. And then beside Golden Glow North 1 is Bellevue subdivision. So all these subdivisions have long been turned over and are already sold out. But we do have private listings available in these subdivisions. Then over here right beside Hillsborough Point is a new subdivision by Cebu Land Masters, Velmiro Heights. So this subdivision is already sold out and their target turnover is by next year. So this actually got 80% sold out within one year, which is very fast. And that's because of the low equity payment and very prime location because this is already, as you can see, a very developed area. So just across Hillsboro Point, which is this subdivision, I dropped the pin here, is Savior Sports Complex. And then right beside it is Savior High School and Grade School. So if you're living in these subdivisions in the uptown area, then your kid can just literally walk to school because Savior is just a stone's throw away from these subdivisions. So this is the main road. This is the this is Masterson Avenue. So along Masterson Avenue, there are a lot of commercial buildings, commercial areas, and gas stations. So also across Savior Estates Main Gate, there is a hospital that's currently being constructed, St. Francis Hospital. So as you can see, Uptown is already a complete community in itself. You have a mall, call center, business park. You have a lot of high-end subdivisions in the area, and you even have a hospital. So since the pandemic happened, a lot of the residents in the Uptown area have actually stayed Uptown most of the time and avoided going downtown because you don't have to go downtown, especially if you can work from home. Since a lot of the amenities and there are a lot of commercial areas already in the uptown area. So every, almost everything you need is already in this location. And then further ahead, we have another subdivision. So Gran Europa. So Gran Europa is over here. And the good news is that Gaisano will be building another mall in front of Gran Europa. So aside from SM City Mall, then there will be another option for residents who want to go to the mall. You can go to Gaisano. And you know with Gaisano, almost everything is there in Gaisano. Aside from this, four new townships will be rising in the uptown area. So one is by Pueblo de Oro. So if Gran Europa is over here, so this one, you can see the pin, Hotel Cresco. So that is Gulf Estates. So it will be over here. So this area here is owned by Pablo de Oro and they, they own 50 hectares in this area and they're planning also to develop another business park in this area. But currently, they are launching a new subdivision in this location called South Ridge. They are selling lot only with cuts at 300 square meters. So they haven't formally launched yet. 
So we're still waiting for that. But a lot of people are interested in this project, especially since lots uptown are very limited. There are a lot of buyers, but there are very, very few sellers. So that's why lots uptown are already climbing higher and higher. So aside from this new township, that will be developed by Pablo de Oro. We have another township by A. Brown. So it's located here in this area. So it's called Central Uptown Business District. And as you can see, there are a lot of subdivisions nearby. So we have Ventura Residences, Ignatius Enclave Phase 1. And over here, we have Ignatius Enclave Phase 2 that's still pre-selling. We have Adelaide Residences and Mountain View Home, so both are already sold out. So aside from the Central Upton Business District, another township will be rising soon. This time it will be developed by John Dorf Ventures Corp. So as you can see, we have here Orchard District, so it's a big area. So it will be also a mixed-use community, but currently John Dorf is selling out their first residential development in this area, which is Vider Subdivision. And then right in front of Vider, we have another subdivision. Montiera subdivision. So Montiera is over here and it's just beside Rosevale School and Savior Estates Phase 4. So you can really see that in the Upton area, the subdivisions are just right beside each other. That's why it's really ripe to put up other commercial areas so that the developments can be spread out and not be so centered in Pablo de Oro Business Park. And then the fourth township that will be developed is actually very near to SM City Mall. So it's over here. This one, you can see it, Pontefino Estate. So I dropped the pin here. So Pontefino Estates is, but it's a project by Fino Land. So they have around 40 hectares in this area, 40 plus hectares, and five hectares will be allocated to commercial development. And then right in front of Pontefino Estates, you have this huge, huge, um, area over here. So this is owned by Xavier University and they are actually planning, Xavier is planning to transfer their university from, which is currently located in the Divisoria area to Uptown. So this is currently Manresa Farm and this will be the future site of Xavier University. So once Xavier will be transferred Uptown, then you can really expect even more action and even more appreciation in the uptown area. So if you live and work in this area, there's practically no reason why you need to go downtown because everything is already here. Actually, when the pandemic started, a lot of businesses in the downtown area, Divisoria mainly closed down. Our business were casualties as well. And this was because the customer base of businesses located in Divisoria are students. So when the government implemented homeschooling, goodbye customers. But although business in the downtown area slowed down, the opposite happened in the uptown area. Business in the uptown area picked up despite the pandemic. And the reason for this is strong customer base. As I have explained and shown you, there are a lot of high-end subdivisions that surround Pueblo Business Park and in general in the uptown area. And the residents of these subdivisions have very strong buying power since many have been avoiding going out because of the pandemic. So instead of going downtown to shop, these residents have been patronizing the commercial establishments in and around Pueblo Business Park instead. Plus, Divisoria doesn't really have proper parking, but while uptown, there's still a lot of space, so that's also a factor. Okay, so back to the map. Along Masterson Avenue, which is this main road here, there are a lot of commercial areas and gas stations. There are actually four gas stations here. We have Shell, Petron, Blue Energy, and Caltex. And then right up ahead is Savior Estates. So Savior Estate is one of the biggest developments in the uptown area. So they have six phases. The first four phases, they were only selling lot only. So that's why in phases one to four, the houses have different designs because it's built by the owners, by the lot owners. But in their fifth and sixth phase, they were already selling, aside from lot only, they also offered lot only, but only a limited number of lots. They mainly offered house and lot units. Like, would you believe when Ventura Residences launched back in, I think that was back in 2015, they sold out the first two blocks in within two days because their introductory price was only 2.5 million and now guess what the houses in ventura are now at 6 million so it's like 
more than times two the appreciation. So at 2.5, after two blocks got sold out, they they went back to their original pricing, which was really at 3.1 to 3.3 range. And then they got sold out pretty quickly. And then after they got sold out now, the value of the houses in Xavier Estates are at 6, 6.5 million for the inner units and 7 to 8 million for the corner units. So Xavier Estates is one of the most prime subdivisions in the uptown area because they have really great amenities. So they have a gym, two swimming pools, they have a huge lap pool and a kiddie pool. They have a bowling alley, restaurant, church, ridge view, chalets for rent. So they really have a lot of amenities. And one of my favorite things about Savior Estates is that their streets are tree lined. So it's quite shady and cool, even though, you know, it can be turned so hot here in Cagayan de Oro. But I really appreciate that their streets are tree lined. So I hope other subdivisions, other developers as well will you know, plant trees along the street so that the entire subdivision can be more cooler and there will be more shade for the homeowners. Currently, the lots uptown are at 15 to 20,000 per square, while ridge lots are at 25,000 per square. And then we have the tour residences, which is Xavier Estates Phase 5, and then Ignatius Enclave, which is XE Phase 6. So they bo both offer house and lot units. Both are along this road, which is the Taguana Road. And then I already showed you a while ago, Mountain View and Adelaida, which are already both sold out. So Abram currently has two pre-selling projects in the area. So I'll drop my pin. So it's over here. This is Ignatius Enclave Phase 2. Land development is currently ongoing. They are selling house and lot units here at 7.7 .7, and they have commercial buildings for sale. So the location of their commercial buildings or shop houses as they call it is over here. So this is the area where I dropped my pin. So the shop houses are over here. It's right across Ignatius Enclave Phase 1. So their shop houses is a three-story building with the ground floor for commercial use. And then the second and third floor can be for office space, commercial use, or residential use. So they're currently selling at 16 million. And then I already showed you a while ago Orchard District and then in front of that, so I'll drop my pin, it is Vider. So you know when Vider launched a couple of years back, they were only selling at 2 to 2.2 million. Now the houses here are valued at 4 million. And at the time, people were feeling like, oh my gosh, this is so far. But you know what, it's only really a 5 minute drive from SM City Mall, so it's not really far. And then in front of Savior Estates, we have Vista Verde, so you can see it over here. There's a commercial building in front of Vista Verde called La Piazza Uptown Park. So, yeah, and then there are a lot of commercial buildings along the Masterson Avenue, so it, they're already right beside each other. There are a lot of commercial establishments already along Masterson. And so this is Vista Verde subdivision, also by Pablo de Oro. And right beside Vista Verde is Corpus Christi School. So there's actually a, an access gate within Vista Verde subdivision going into Corpus Christi School. So it's really a, very convenient for parents who have kids going to school. Of course, once the pandemic is over, when the kids are back to school. Because you can just go directly from Vista Verde where you're living if you're from if you live there you can go from Vista Verde directly to the school you don't have to go outside the highway so it, it's a lot safer for the kids and then beside it is the Grove so the Grove is a new sub development by Pueblo de Oro so they have fairway lots available so it's a townhouse development they have they're almost sold out there are only five units left at 6.5 million so it's over here so it's actually a different subdivision Although it's still connected to Vista Verde and Gulf Estates, but they have a different gate. They have uh, their own gate. And then, of course, one of the most prime subdivisions in the uptown area is Gulf Estates. So this is the only subdivision uptown with a golf course inside it. So lots here are already at 18 to 20,000 per square. So it's a very big development and it's, it's, divided into clusters so currently there are seven clusters within Pablo de Oro Gulf Estates they have a hotel here hotel Caresco 
there are there's a golf course that runs around the subdivision so if you get if you have a fairway lot property then you will be that that means that's in, that's a property right in front of the golf course so they have the biggest cuts for lots up down ranging from 300 to 500 square meters some lots range from 600 up to 1700 depending on the location this is the most premium development of Pueblo de oro to date this is already sold out but again we have private listings here but there's also good news because pablo is planning to launch a new cluster in within golf estates Called, the, called Cluster 5. So we're just waiting for feedback from Pueblo on the launch date. So they will have lot cuts starting at 300 square meters. So it will be a very premium development part of Gulf Estates. Okay, and then right beside Gulf Estates, so over here, I'll drop my pin. So this is, I mentioned it a while ago already, but this will be the mixed use, another mixed use community by Pueblo. They own 50 hectares here, but they're currently, they will be launching Southridge first. So this is their residential project with 300 square meter lot cuts. And their indicative pricing is at 16 to 17,000 per square. And what's really great about this area is because it's right along the Pueblo Lagindingan six lane national highway. So. It will be a very prime location and you can actually go to the airport using this road. It will be a lot nearer compared if you went around the Visoria area. So their target turnover is 2027, but you know that can still change depending on the developer's development pace. And then right beside it is Gran Europa. So Gran Europa is actually a complex. So it's a community. It's a community. So Gran Europa is a community and they have a lot of they have about 14 subdivisions inside it, so it's, they have a lot of subdivisions within Gran Europa. It's also a township in itself because it has a mall, it has a school, it actually has a, an international school, Georgia Academy. It all, also has a church within the subdivision, so it's a very big development, around 300 hectares more or less. So it's developed by Vista Land and Lifescapes, or more commonly known as Camellia Homes. So. It has pre-selling houses as well. So Lameran Peak is still pre-selling so that their houses range from five to eight million. And they also have more affordable units in Lesandra, which is between two point, around 2.5 million. And then further ahead, Gran Europa is, of course, you can see the, the airport, which is now an airbase. And then we have two other subdivisions by Robinson's land. So one is Fresno Park View. This is over here. I dropped my pin. And then we have Bloomfield subdivision right beside it. Price Memorial Garden is also over here. So in the uptown area, like the most affordable subdivision up to date currently is Fresno because we still have listings there. Although it's already sold out, we have listings there selling at between 11 to 13,000 per square meter, which is very, very affordable, especially if you compare it with the other lots in this area. I mean, it's only around a 15 minute drive from SM City Mall, but it's considerably more affordable because a lot of people still feel that it's far, but it's it's still in the same location. So if you invest in lots in Fresno, then you will you will just pay a lower amount. Like a client of mine bought a ridge lot a couple of months back and he was able to buy it at 12.5 per square. So imagine a ridge lot. It has an amazing view. You can hear the, the sound of the river on, on the bottom. The view is very awesome. And his lot was only at 12.5, whereas another client of mine bought a rich lot in Savior Estates this last January, and he bought it at 19,000 per square. And there were also other rich lots that got sold after that at 22 to 23,000 per square. So you can really see the discrepancy in, in the pricing. I mean, they have the same view, but of course, different subdivision, different developer. So it will really be up to you which subdivision you prefer. And then over here is Kanitoan. So this is Upper Kanitoan. So we also have a couple of subdivisions there by Pueblo de Oro. It's only a five minute drive to SM City Mall, especially if you take the, the access road from Westwoods because there are several subdivisions here. So we have Forest View Homes. Forest View is over here. 
and then we have familia apartments so there all this these are socialized housing this is a walk-up apartment by pablo de oro their pre-selling price was only at 500,000, so very affordable like five to six hundred thousand and then we have okay farsby homes and then san agustin and then over here is west woods so all subdivisions all these are developed by pablo de oro and then in front of forest view homes we have bamboo lane so a, a friend of mine from illegan invested in a unit there and then it just got turned over so now he's planning to rent it out at twenty five thousand per month so it's really just for investment so also west woods has an access road from the subdivision to going to in between Hillsborough and Phil Am. So if you live in Westwood, then you don't have to go around. It will be a lot, uptown area will be a lot nearer if you pass by the access road. Okay, so that is Uptown Kagen, the order in a nutshell. I hope you now have a better understanding of the area. If you have further questions, just contact me and we can set up a Zoom meeting. So bye for now and I'll see you in my next video.